Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamre from WindowsITExports.com and in today's video we are going to see how to create organizational unit in Active Directory Windows Server 2012 R2. So what is organizational unit? It is the smallest container of your Active Directory which can hold users, groups, computers and uh, etc. objects. So it is also a smallest unit which an administrator can assign group policy settings and account permissions. So delegation can be done for organizational units. So creating organizational unit, it totally depends upon two things that is delegation and group policy. Delegation is the way you want to manage your active directory infrastructure the rights you want to give to administrators it guys or helpless users to assign some tasks like uh, creating user accounts deleting user accounts reset password account lockout and blah 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 and group policies you if you want to apply some group policies and uh, you want to manage users and computers with the help of group policies so we have to take care of uh, group policy settings also while creating a organizational unit so let's go and on my domain controller that is uh, contestor.com is my domain and I have already defined Active Directory structure. So this is my Bangalore OU. This is my India OU. In India OU, I have Kolkata and Pune. So you can see these are the certain OUs I have created manually. Okay, now I'm going to create a new organizational unit right click on contestor.com go to new go to organizational unit and give new name i will give australia now in australia i want to create a new organizational unit that is sydney So click on OK. So in Sydney, in my Sydney office, I have certain sub OUs, that is computers. My computers object are located in computers OU. Then I have users OU. They will, I will have to create servers OU. And then groups. So my groups would be in groups OU. So this is the structure what is followed in the organizational. Segregate the things whatever you are planning or whatever you have objects accordingly. So computers in computers. OU I will have only computers object in users OU I will have only users object in servers OU I will have only servers object and in groups OU I will have only groups object so this is the way we can create organizational unit in uh, uh, in our active directory users and computers so now I have a PowerShell as well so PowerShell is a great tool to create Oh, yes, and to do a lot of things. So, new hyphen organizational unit. Sorry, AD organizational unit is the command, and we can give name that is let's take US. I want to create a USOU and path. 
I will give path. Now I want to create USOU as a parent to you in contestor.com domain. So right click on contestor.com properties. I'll go to attributes. I want to copy the DN that is distinguished name. So I will copy distinguished name, paste it here and enter. So my USOU is created in contestor.com domain. So let's go to Active Directory Users in Computers, refresh and you can see USOU is created. So in this way we can create certain sub OUs into my us ou so i will go to properties attributes i'll copy distinguish name go to powershell paste and I want to create a user so you in USOU. So enter. Oh, sorry, I miss parenthesis. Control C. I miss double quotes. Sorry. Enter. Now my USOU has to be refreshed user so you is created but this is the time consuming task and we have to lose our lot of time in creating organizational unit so i have one powershell script that is ou creation and this is what we are going to create it will create a multiple ou's at the same time okay so this is the script uh, what I am going to use to create OU structure by giving input file that is OU structure.txt which is this one. So I want to create a tech corp OU and in tech corp OU I will create production, management, sales and ID sub OUs. Okay, so this is the input file what we can uh, give to PowerShell script and it will create multiple OUs. I'll close this out. I'll go to this path. C dollar. So go to OU creation and I will run this PowerShell script. OU creation dot ps1. Press enter. So now you can see my tech corp OU is created. So this is the tech corp OU and in that tech corp OU IT is created, management, production and sales. So all the sub OUs are created in this tech corp OU. So these are the ways where, where we can create uh, OU structure and uh, most probably uh, organization use script to create organizational units so this is the basic uh, thing what i have shown you in in this video and you can uh, do some tricks to create more in advance so it could be in advanced way we have to look into it because uh, normally while creating sub OUs, OUs, we have to take care of the delegation as well. So we can build or we can add some delegation uh, permissions, attributes into the script and we can create the OU structure based on that. So and this uh, script is a uh, available on 
I would like to give credit to stackoverflow.com and the link is given in the description. So thanks for watching. See you bye bye. Subscribe for more more videos and see you in the next video. Thank you.